Okay guys, welcome back. Now in this video, we're gonna look under the hood of Browser Automation Studio. And guys, from now on, I'll be calling this BAS. That's for Browser Automation Studio, but we call it BAS for short, okay? So we're gonna take a look at BAS and look at the main features of what you're gonna to need to make your bots. Now I'm gonna presume that you downloaded BAS um, like we talked about in the last video. Um, if you've got any problems, then please leave a comment. Um, but you should have it downloaded on your computer, installed. Now all you need to do is double click the brow, um, sorry, the um, the run icon, and you'll be presented with a screen similar to the one that you see um, on my screen. Okay, guys, and this is the first screen that you'll see. I'm going to run you over uh, just the components that we need to get started, um, and we'll go from there. Okay, guys, so these are the three buttons here that are mostly used. Okay, we create a new resource which we're going to go through in um, a couple of videos time. Okay, resources are the crux of making a bot, one of the main features. Okay, so just make a note of that. We're not going to go into it now, but just make a note that on the right hand side is where you can create a resource. The record button will take you to another set of features and that's where the main action happens. That's where we actually build the bot. Now once we've um, built the bot, and we've run through it a couple of times and we're quite happy, we can then use the run um, icon. Um, and what that does is basically it will show you how your bot acts in the field. It's as if you've already compiled it and, and you can see how it's gonna run. And that's kind of your last chance to catch any errors before you um, compile the bot. Now, once we've done that, we then can press the compile button, choose the features, press compile, and you'll have your standalone bot ready to show your mum and dad <laughs> or, or to sell your choice okay guys so resources write um, record run compile okay and that's all you really need to know to be honest okay so let's press the record button because this is where the magic happens <laughs> once you press record you'll be taken to a screen like this and this is where we build our bots now to the top left this screen here is where you'll see, see the building blocks of your bot as you build it. So as you add stuff to the sequence, it will show here, which I'll demonstrate in a, in a, a shortly. Above here, you'll see the green icon, which you've probably guessed is to run the bot. However, that means to run the bot without stopping, okay? The one next to it is to run the bot, but you have to click it at every step. So every building block of your bot, you press it to run through the steps. And this is how you test individual actions of your bot to pick up for errors the next button is obviously to stop your bot and this is to start over okay to go back to the other screen so down here on the bottom right um, this is where the browser will show what's going on so each step that you get to you can see the action here which you'll see shortly and the top right side is your toolbox now this is where we pick out each action that we want our bot to do. Okay, so I'm just gonna dem demonstrate that now and show you how easy it is to put a bot together. So we could go to the one that says browser here, and you once you press a um, item of the toolbox like waiters or script logic or browser, it will take you to some more options. So we've chosen browser. Now what do we wanna do with the browser? We wanna load a URL in this case. And let's just say we wanna go to google.com so we press ok now you'll see some things have happened um, on the left hand side you'll see that a building block has appeared um, that says load uh, google.com so as you can see as we tell the bot uh, give the bot actions they'll be processed and put here and they'll go down and down and down um, and then here at the bottom uh, bottom right sorry you'll see the window so you can see that it's um, loaded google.com now we could you know there's so many things to go over guys and um, you know I'm just showing you just for demonstration purposes you could then put a waiter in make the bot sleep for five seconds okay so you see it appears there and it's sleeping for five seconds and then we could go back to to the browser put load and put facebook.com okay 
and it's loadedfacebook.com. So <laughs> we'll stop the bot there. Let's go back to record. So the steps of our bot that we've built is to initialize. So to start the bot, go to google.com, wait five seconds, and then load facebook.com, okay? So quite a simple bot, but um, I'll show you what we've created. Okay, so if you click the button here, we'll go step by step, and you'll see the icon there, the red arrow shows at what step the bot's at. So it's gone to google.com, it's now gonna sleep for five seconds, and now it's gonna load facebook.com. And there you go guys, our first, <laughs> not too useful, but our first bot. So we're gonna start getting into depth now, we're gonna start building some bots out, okay guys? And we'll start going over the different options. So I just wanted you to understand the, the layout of Bass, okay? And that's all you need to, um, to know for us to now go on and to create some super powerful bots, guys. So I hope you're excited. We're gonna start really delving into Bass and getting some great bots made. I'll see you in the next video.